What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires. Now there's been a ton of buzz in the last couple of weeks, mostly about Charlie Cox returning as Daredevil for the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home, and we all know the frames that everybody thinks are him. I'm still a little skeptical on that, but I do give reverence to industry insider Daniel Rickman, who says that it is, so I'll believe it for now. In the meantime, we've been reporting on Charlie Cox coming back as Daredevil for quite some time. In fact, months ago, I ran an exclusive here at the channel where we reported on the exact date and time where he filmed as Matt Murdock, but for a different Disney Plus series, not Spider-Man No Way Home. And today, a follow-up report from a news source claiming there is a ton in the future in the way for Daredevil, including his very own reboot on Disney Plus. We're going to break down the entirety of this report, where it's coming from, and the details in tow. I'm also, since we're mentioning Spider-Man, and anyway, going to weigh in on all of those fake leaked photos that hit the internet in the last 24 hours. The one I'm specifically talking about, I'm sure a lot of you have seen, was Spider-Man pointing. We have gotten a definitive answer on that one, although it continues to make its rounds. We're breaking that down, as well as the future of Daredevil and Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock on Disney Plus in his own franchise. But first, if you could maybe consider hitting the subscribe button, all we do here is daily Marvel content if you're into that kind of thing. I've been covering the MCU news cycle, trailers, Easter eggs, director interviews, even the occasional anonymous 4chan plot leak since about the time of Infinity War. So again, if you're into that kind of thing and that's for you, maybe consider subscribing, leaving a comment on the video. If you do, that'll automatically enter you to win all of the numerous giveaways, multiple PlayStation 5s, weekly Disney Plus subscriptions, and in fact, we're giving away Shang-Chi tickets Every day this week, we'll announce a new winner at the end of this video. Again, all you have to do, be a subscriber, leave a comment on the video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So today's update actually comes from the Scoopster Twitter account, Main Middleman, who we've reported on a couple times here recently at the channel, and who actually does have a track record. Problem being, most of his leaks are for upcoming projects. So while we still wait for his actual track record on leaks to pan out and sort of still in grain of salt territory, the reason I felt comfortable running this this update is it's right in line with everything we've been reporting on for the last three months, including one of my exclusives, which we'll get to in just a second. This is what he tweeted in the last 48 hours about an upcoming reboot for Daredevil on Disney Plus quote. Discussions about Daredevil have brought the future of the character in the MCU into question. Sounds like Matt Murdock will appear in many other productions before he gets his first MCU solo. Anyway, there is in fact a project about the man without fear in early development. This is going to happen with some of the Marvel Netflix series leading characters, which will appear in some of the upcoming and then later projects, but not all of them will have their solo part. Some secondary and supporting characters will also return some of them with familiar faces you already know. About the actors, don't expect all of them to return. There are consequences for reboot and scheduling conflicts. What is also being discussed at this point is whether there will be projects developed outside of Disney+, Plus, focusing on productions besides PG-13 for characters like these. It's not a simple decision for a company like Disney, but my guess is that it's inevitable. To conclude, I won't mention any more names before confirming, but Matt Murdock and Kingpin won't be the only ones you'll see back. Stay safe, take care of yourself, my dear ones, have a good night. The reason I felt comfortable running this update is because literally over the last three or four months and outside of the rumors of Charlie Cox coming back for just Daredevil and Spider-Man No Way Home, there have been a ton of reports of this. First of which, I ran an exclusive here at the channel that Matt Murdock indeed filmed, or sorry, Charlie Cox filmed as Matt Murdock on the She-Hulk series. I had the exact day and time where he was on set. That exclusive is still live at the channel under my exclusives playlist. We also had the reports real recently and then not denied by Vincent D'Onofrio that he was in fact returning to play Kingpin in the upcoming Echo series, another series on Disney+, Plus, which we suspect will see Daredevil as well. Kingpin also possibly returning for the Hawkeye series where Echo will first be introduced. You then have Matt Murdock, Charlie Cox showing up in She-Hulk, perhaps Hawkeye, but there were rumors of a scheduling conflict, then Spider-Man No Way Home, and who knows where else in the future of the MCU. But at this point, at least that part of this report seems confirmed. The only new real add-on is that eventually he'd get his own series, but Daredevil is such a huge intellectual property, I think we all would have assumed so eventually anyway. It did so well over on Netflix. Now, the end of this update is a little ambiguous. They're talking about outside PG-13 projects. What he's referring to there is something we've theorized 
multiple times here on the channel and hopefully will become a reality that's a rated R label over at Marvel Studios for the characters that well call for it, not just Punisher and maybe Moon Knight, any character that would have a more violent outing. Look, I was as surprised as probably a lot of you to see the blood smeared on the bottom of the shield when John Walker US agent snapped during the Falcon series and that gave me hope that in scenes and moments that call for it, they probably would use some blood or violence to make the narrative make sense and for to, well, to actually tell the story better. Blood very noticeably absent from most of the MCU. I think all of the MCU save maybe the first Avenger Captain America. And it may not even be blood in that one as well. That's usually the hallmark of a PG-13 rating. That and you're only allowed one F-bomb. I'm sure you guys will correct me where else there's blood in the MCU, but it's not often. They are allowed to get away with it on Disney Plus or a streaming service. And again, I think an R-rated label for characters like Deadpool and Punisher make a lot of sense. And I think the visceral violence that served Daredevil during the Netflix series would also serve him in the MCU if they could do the same thing. Now, touching quickly on that leaked Spider-Man No Way Home photo, actually there's two of them going around and they look like they're similar to the others that have been either photoshopped or copyright struck, the ones on the blue background. It shows two pillars in front of what looks like Tom Holland Spider-Man in the black and red suit flipping a web. Someone then took that photo and photoshopped another Spider-Man, what looks like Tobey Maguire's or Andrew Garfield's, laying on the ground, possibly hurt, and or dying. Now, it's still up in the air whether that photo, the first one is a Photoshop or not, for risk that that is a correct photo. You can find it all over the internet. I am not putting it in this video. Uh, Sony has indeed been copyright striking certain photos, so there are real ones out there. However, we now know that the one with two Spider-Men, the one with either Tobey Maguire or Andrew Garfield laying down next to the one that's standing up, is 100% fake, not fake because we used any sort of software or anything like that, fake because the person who made it took to Twitter and Instagram and everything else to show everyone how he faked it. I'm to the point with the faked photos though, that because there are occasionally some that are real and Sony is copyright striking them, it seems like pretty randomly, I'm just not gonna risk it, but they are all over the internet and Instagram, and I just warn you as you're out there surfing from them, remember if you see a new photo that you haven't seen anywhere else and looks like a leaked set photo, of Spider-Man No Way Home that everybody basically has Photoshop now. There are kids who have very competent Photoshop skills that can do better than some adults and literally put out things that are imperceivable. And I know people are using reverse engineering software to see if a photo is 3D imaging or compiled, but newsflash, some of that stuff doesn't work, especially if you know how to work with filters. Uh, you can do basically anything with anything. So just keep your skeptical mind skeptical. Remember that most of them out there are fakes. Occasionally something gets through, but it's just like the leaks we report on here at the channel. You never know. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff again before I let you go. We're still giving away a couple of PlayStation 5s and weekly Disney Plus subscriptions. We'll also still be doing that weekly what if watch party tomorrow on the channel but this week we're giving away tickets to go see shang chi all week long so the first winner we're announcing for the shang chi tickets is mama faith for this comment right here all you have to do to claim the tickets dm me at i am fires on instagram or email me my emails on the about section on my channel i've gone ahead and subscribed to your channel i'll verify you and get the tickets right out guys it's that simple all you have to do to be entered to win here at the channel for any of the future giveaways Hit the sub button, leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. Best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Twitter and Instagram at I Am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. Thanks so much for checking out the channel, guys, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.